every time somebody you start on side control, this is what you're going to find straight away. He has to do that. Otherwise, you just do whatever you want, right? So he's defending himself, and it's up to you to, first of all, as we did in the guard, positioning is everything in Jiu Jitsu. Good position where your body is at the right time helps a lot. So in this situation here, if I put my body here, a strong guy, or even if I turn slightly, push me out of here more, please. Look, I can't, it's very hard to avoid this. He can bench press me. Now what happens if you move your body slightly towards the arm? Bench press me now. What's the difference? My weight is here, on top of this arm. So now, it's very, very hard for him, with the arm static, to ease up. So I'm gonna use this against him. So look, instead of having my body here, I'm gonna go slightly, slightly diagonal. Look, I can even put my hand here to help me out. The thing is that now, I'm going to sit, look, see this arm? His wrist is tied to his chest because my weight's on top of it. That makes this arm a bit vulnerable. You can sweep it if the elbow is on the floor. Don't bother much. You can uh, hold on tight, come and do the American. If it's not, if he's defending, the elbow will be off the floor. And then you can use this arm. Just grab here. Look. See? Your elbow touches his body here. And now you come and finish. If he turns, you go for the kimono. So the tightness starts here. Your weight is on top of his wrist, right? And then you're attacking that elbow on that side. So your body is kind of diagonal. Trap. Look, trap and push your body forward. Open your legs and get the arm. Does that make sense? Yep, that's right.